Apple introducing several new products at its spring event, but everyone paying attention wanted to see the one more thing. Apple's been working on a headset for several years, and now we know what it's called and what it's going to do. Apple calls Vision Pro its most ambitious product ever, may also be its riskiest. In its announcement, Apple never called it a virtual reality headset, but rather a headset computer and augmented reality, which means you can still see your surroundings while you use it. The emphasis is on productivity and entertainment rather than gaming. Your surroundings become an infinite canvas. Even demonstrating how people can see multiple screens by turning their heads, showing a man wearing the headset walking through the office. It also showed how the Vision Pro allows users to watch movies immersed in a theater-like setting and joining FaceTime calls. You can join a group call and see everyone life-size. And how do they see you? Well, this is where it gets amazing, if not a little weird. The headset scans your face and movements ahead of time. It delivers a natural representation which dynamically matches your facial and hand movement. And there are no controllers, but users will be able to click icons and control the computer using only their eyes and fingers. Virtual reality has been around for years without ever gaining a huge audience outside of video gamers. Headsets are uncomfortable, the battery life isn't good enough to watch a long movie. So can Apple do what other companies haven't when it comes to headsets? Apple doesn't have product failures. The iPhone, Apple Watch, and iPad, all huge success, but it may be difficult to gain a huge audience for the Vision Pro with a starting price of $3,500. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.